What's up, Lucid family? This is Luke Holden coming to you. Pre-recorded. This is Virtually Lucid presenting a process drawing of a map, Dana, and also our colored vinyl map. Thanks for joining me again today. This is a time elapsed that has been sped up about... 4,800% and doesn't include any of the drawing aspects so this is going straight to the painting. Every year we create a map by hand like this and there's been lots of different versions and over the years I've gone at it a, a bunch of different ways and in the beginning I pencil drew it and have been integrating more and more reality over time. More cars and more trees and the accurate trees and using Google Earth and photographs of the festival itself with uh, drone footage taken at the festival during the festival has allowed it to become quite a similar representation of what you actually get when you come to the festival. So this is a painting of the map that we used in 2018, but I wanted to show you because I have yet to complete the one for this coming festival. The festival that's on its way is in April of 2022. Our tickets are on sale now, so you can check it out. And let me tell you a little bit about the layout as we go. So this is Live Oak Campground in Santa Barbara in the hills above Santa Barbara, actually in Santa Ynez. And so I'm illustrating much of the installations in the locations that we've curated them and placed them to be. And then we list all of our curators around the edge. So when I'm done with the painting and a drawing and painting phase, I pass it over to our graphic design leader, Sabrina, who has been amazing at bringing the analog version to a full graphical representation best for uh, the bandana that we printed on we usually print a few colors of bandanas and give them away for free when you arrive and it's been a collectible now for uh, most of the years except for our first year I believe we started doing map danas our second year and we've been doing festivals, Lucidity Festival, since 2012. So we had a break in 2019 due to the pandemic, and we are raring to go for 2022. The layout of the festival will be the same as in the painting that you're watching me do now. This is a, a layout created in our seventh year. So we have the different zones broken up into elemental, uh, the elements. And we're telling a, a, a story that goes along with the festival that you can get into or not, uh, because the festival is fun whether or not you get into the story. But the story is there for those that want to go a little deeper in their exploration of self. So there's uh, a lot to dig into. You can go to our website for our whole uh, story that we're telling and every chapter has a meaning so this next chapter as we call them is uh, called regeneration earth the painting that you're creating that, I, that you're watching me create now was for rising dawn so regeneration earth is two years after this or supposed to be it's the th third of this section of story so it goes rising dawn Moon's Eye View was the one after this. And then Regeneration Earth. So I hope you are enjoying this sort of time elapse and it's not going too fast and not too slow. I get really abstract when I draw our uh, main stages and try to represent the design that I know is coming. 
We usually wait until right up close to the event to complete these maps. That way most of the curation is complete and the stage designs are complete and so I can go through and really try to capture what is arriving as accurately as possible. So the blue area is the water area. That's the water area. You can see a little portal as we call them. It says water on it. And then the yellow area is air. And there's uh, work workshop stages in each one of the uh, areas. And we kind of move things around and try different layouts at, go, as we uh, as the years progress. So that every one of you who comes and experiences the fest is sort of constantly learning and finding things that they remember, but also always surprised at what they find. And a lot of the magic that's created is brought by the people who come you know designing your camp to be sort of like burning man themed where it's open and welcoming and we're a family friendly event so the green over there in the left hand corner is the earth realm it's also the family garden and that's where all the families with kids stay tickets are free for 12 years old and under so families can register their kids and have a ticket for their kids and a wristband to match and, and it's a lot of fun so we hope that that sets the tone for everyone that shows up and knows that this is a party with a purpose and uh, we try to design something that is really good for you really good for the people who show up and sort of uh, amping up society to go back to work feeling better and feeling recharged rather than depleted like you party too hard. So we have all sorts of music. It's an electronic music focused event, but we also have a lot of live music, a lot of world music, which is, you know, everything. Uh, lots of instrumentation, I think, in world music. A lot of different types of drums, a lot of different types of stringed and singing styles, stringed instruments. Um, In the yellow, in the air area, we have uh, the Dusty Barrel stage and environment, which is sort of like cowboy themed. And there's a lot of boot stomping music going on over there. And over here where I'm, where I'm painting now is the temple area. We have a curation of a different temple designer every year that's the family garden a lot of collaborators at lucidity festival a lot of curation so there's big art installations and interactive art installations and that right there is another stage that i'm painting there in red red is the fire element that is the pneumatic nook stage. A lot of uh, electronic focused music there and local artists as well as some of our headliners getting a chance to do another set. A lot of our artists like to play a couple of times throughout the weekend. So it's a three-day festival and uh, you can do it's a Friday Saturday Sunday main event but you can early arrive Thursday or even there's a regeneration activity day on Wednesday which allows you to arrive even one day earlier than our usual Thursday early arrival and so this year 2022 you can uh, get an additional early arrival of Wednesday check it out again those links are in the description below if you've been paying attention to our posts, uh, Virtually Lucid, we've been uh, doing videos, little concerts, virtual events, art gallery show, and a Halloween show. So we've been having fun creating media for you and content for you to enjoy 
while we've been away. And so, in that vein, I wanted to share this process with you. I'm looking forward to jumping into this process again and creating a new version of the map for you this year. And so, when I do, I'll record those and share those with you as well. So now the video is almost over now. I want to thank you so much gratitude to you for sticking through. Here's the final version of it. After Sabrina, Bina Creations is her company, uh, has put the final touches on and she lists all the collaborators that we have. And there's just you know, hundreds. The magic is really you who comes and brings their positive energy and their creativity and their their self to the party and really makes Lucidity Festival what it is. So I hope you can come and join us and thanks for joining me for this illustration project. As we go, here is the Map Dana version, which is a reduced color palette that you can wear as a bandana. So you can look forward to getting yourself a Lucidity bandana in 2022 Regeneration Earth. Tickets are available below. I love you. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.